This, this was the last PC I built before I moved. And I gotta say, it represents literally everything that's good about PC building and gaming right now. This video is sponsored by ASRock and specifically the star of the show, the X870 Tai Chi Creator motherboard. And when they call it Creator, that ain't no fib. This thing is packed to the brim with useful features, which we'll discuss in just a bit. The start of the important bits about the Tai Chi Creator Board is its readiness for the latest AMD Ryzen 9000 CPUs. ASRock sent out a Ryzen 7 9800X3D for us to run in this system, and it's a quick plop in that unlocks a lot of performance and is a great base layer for the rest of the gaming computer. Not only does it have support for the latest 9000 series CPUs, but you'll also have an 18 plus two plus one power phase design with 80 and SPS for optimized performance. Cooling that chip is the Trix Panorama SE360 ARGB, a competent cooler that keeps the 9800X3D chilled while also giving fun visuals. We rotated the screen to have the waterfall with the rubber ducky falling down it. You can swap it out to your heart's content, but I like the included video. You can connect up to four RAM sticks to the X3D chip with support for memory speeds up to 8,000 plus mega transfers. The Patriot Viper kit that we used in this build is a more modest, but still respectable 6,000 mega transfers per second. And it's not just fast memory that you get, but there's also plenty of fast storage options as well. There's two blazing M.2 slots that allow you to get the max PCI Express 5.0 SSDs. While 14,000 megabytes per second might not be something that gamers need to take advantage of to have their best loading times into the newest release title, having that over dozens of gigabytes per second of storage bandwidth makes for a great time when transferring gigantic files like a creator would. Whether that's massive video files for editing or potentially even just moving your models around for your LLM. And having two slots means that you're able to have a working drive that's blisteringly fast and a backup or archive drive on board that can receive those files just as quickly. You can actually get those dozens of gigabytes moving quick. And the best part about those dual Gen 5 M.2 sockets is that they share PCI Express lanes with the USB 4 ports, not the GPU slot. So you're not compromising GPU performance by making sure that you have high speed SSDs installed in your system. And in case you just wanna max out more storage, there's also a couple more M.2 drive slots just below that can help to pump up your terabytes. And there's also a quad bay of SATA ports if you need even more. Now for this build, we went with the XPG Mars 980 Blade. It's one terabyte at that insanely quick PCI Express 5.0 speed. And with ASRock's double XL M.2 heatsink, the X870 Tai Chi Creator Board is making sure that the drive is staying as cool as possible to keep performance at top spec. And it's toolless to boot, making the installation quick and simple without having to fiddle with teensy little screws. But it's not just dual Gen 5 M.2 slots this board is sporting but also dual Gen 5 PCI Express slots. They're spaced four slots apart to give plenty of room to install multiple current gen massive honking GPUs. And again, this is not really a boon to gamers since multi-GPU support has essentially been defunct for quite some time, revived a little bit recently with tech like lossless scaling, but in case you're trying to run a render farm or an AI powerhouse, the X870 Tai Chi Creator gives you the flexibility to install a couple different cards and and that top slot makes it easy to swap out with its easy release latch. For this particular build, we have the ASRock Challenger RX 970 card, a fantastic 1440p capable gaming GPU with 16 gigs of VRAM and a good visual match with the motherboard. But what could also make a great candidate in this motherboard is two of these, the ASRock Creator version of the AMD Radeon AI Pro R9700, the 32 gigabyte GPU from AMD that allows you to get more VRAM for things things like machine learning on your local computer. Two of these plopped into the PCI Express 5.0 slots and you have 64 gigs total of uh, AMD memory that you can play around with. Fortunately, we only had one at the time, so you don't get quite a good look at two of these matching. But speaking of visuals, the Corsair 3500X ARGB case is a nice match with that Trix cooler with three customizable RGB intake fans to match the three exhaust fans provided by the AIO cooler. And then we can't forget the power center of the build with the ASRock SL850G PSU providing all the juice we need to get the 
a core CPU, an RX 9070 GPU running at full tilt. But it's not just the innards of the motherboard that make it special. The Tai Chi creator's backside also provides a lot to love. You have a clear CMOS and BIOS flashback buttons there, but also Wi-Fi 7 and Bluetooth 5.4 antenna ports for your wireless connectivity and an HDMI for your integrated graphics. And then there's a wide berth of USB ports for you to use. There's the quad bay of the ultra USB power ports that not only transmit data, but are designed to provide stable, low noise, five volt power for any external audio devices, DACs, or other important peripherals that creators might need. You also have a couple of USB 2.0 ports along with more USB 3.2 ports for either five or 10 gigabit per second connections. And then you get the super useful 40 gigabit per second type C ports, two of them. Great for external docks, Thunderbolt devices, 4K displays, super fast external SSDs, or again, any other pro grade accessories one might need. And it even has support for PD 3.0 36 watt fast charging on its front USB 3.2 Gen 2 by 2 type C port so that you can charge your gaming handhelds, your phones, your tablets, whatever you need to rapid charge, it'll be available on the front of your device. And in case you're looking to hardwire to your network, the X870 Tai Chi Creator has that available too. You've got the yellow five gigabit per second LAN port, but then a 10 gig red port right below that. Super speed connection to your NAS, network attached storage, other computers on the network, all no problem with this motherboard, giving you high throughput for things that you might need to do that just aren't right at your system. And while it has all the accoutrement of a professional level system, it's not a slouch at gaming either. Obviously the 9800X 3D CPU is meant to bring lots of frames and combined with the RX 9070 Challenger GPU, we managed to hit over 100 FPS in Cyberpunk 2077 at the 1440p resolution with the ray tracing medium preset. We tested out a few 3D Mark benchmarks and again, really impressive results. Port Royal managed to hit a 69.27 FPS average. Time Spy Extreme got a score of 11,057 with a graphics number of 12,167 and a CPU score of 7,290. And the regular Time Spy benchmark got roughly double those numbers with 22,847 overall, 25,241 graphics, and 14,863 on the CPU. And in Cinebench 2024, we managed a 1,280 point multi-core score with 131 on the single core. Just a remarkably impressive showing from these components. And at the beginning of the video, I said this build represents literally everything that's good about PC building and gaming right now. The X3D CPUs from AMD are just such incredible bang for buck chips that can hold its own with the fastest graphics cards on the market and have enough room for newer GPUs for generations to come. It's remarkably cool and efficient so you can choose your cooler based on how you want it to look in your system more than you need to worry about overheating your chip. The RX 9070 is a killer value graphics card that, especially with some tweaking, can hit some frame rate numbers that are fantastic. And then there's everything about the motherboard that provides support for tech that most people haven't even begun to need yet. Standard 10 gigabit ethernet with a bonus five gigabit connection, gen five SSDs that need remarkably few PCI express lanes to go blisteringly fast, incredible RAM speed support, and so much more. And then in case you wanna to expand to a second GPU, the ASRock X870 Tai Chi Creator has support for that. So much about this ASRock X870 Tai Chi Creator motherboard goes above what most can even figure out how to take advantage of. You've got flexibility, you've got expansion. It's all there for the person who wants a board that they can grow into over time. Whether that's getting a second Gen 5 SSD in a few months after you save up, or getting that second GPU for lossless scaling, or potentially even doing AI workloads. Again, after you save up a little, the Tai Chi Creator motherboard's gonna have everything there and waiting for you. Or taking the time to upgrade your home network to 10 gigabit, that might also take a little bit of an investment, but don't worry because this ASRock motherboard is gonna be be able to support it once you do the upgrades of everything else. But you shouldn't waste any time picking this board up or any of the other components mentioned in this video, especially when you check out at Newegg. Whether it's the ASRock motherboard and GPU, or the AMD Ryzen CPU, or the rest of the build, Newegg has it all ready to go for you. And again, big thanks to ASRock for sponsoring today's video. And while I won't get to experience this system in person anymore since I left it behind in the move, we are planning on giving it away over on our Twitch music streams 
in the near future, you can head over to twitch.tv forward slash UFD music to learn more. I didn't bring many tech components with me, just kind of what I needed to film, but I made sure to bring the ASRock Creator GPU because I still want to play around with it and I haven't had a chance to yet, but this, this made it in my luggage.